Hello, welcome to Makeup TV. Um, we're going to be talking about hatred. Let's hit right into it. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Definition of hatred. It says intense dislike. Intense dislike. That is hate. Loathing. Hate. Detestation. Detestation. Okay. Extreme dislike or disgust. Hate, ill, ill will, or resentment that is usually mutual, prejudiced hostility, or animosity, old racial prejudices, and national hatred. So, we want to talk about hatred and is killing and destroying lives, is killing and destroying societies. It's a global pandemic. It's a global cancer. It's a global canker worm that is eating through the fabrics of society. A strange when it comes to hatred, you know. I spoke about envy and jealousy the other time. And when this builds up and deception sets in, the highest rank that you can, you can reach is hatred. That is the extreme intense dislike of something. In South Africa, we had something that we called what? Apathide. And let me give you the definition of apathide. It's the former political system in South Africa in which only white people had full political rights and other people than other people, especially black people were forced to leave away from white people, go to separate schools and the apartheid, the pressures of life and the apartheid. So, the reason why I give the apartheid definition is for you to understand that these are some of the factors that lead to hatred, to hate, passionate hate, is destroying the very fabric of our society today. And we have to be careful and watchful and, and, and open our eyes to these vices, social vices that is killing us. You are aware that in America, there are so many shootings going on. Ask me what, is, what, what, what this is all about. Ask me what this is all about. It's about hate, hatred. One can pick up a very powerful rifle assault rifle enter a school and kill everybody kids you name it regardless of their age size whatever and it's called the hate race hate racism so you see how dangerous this this hatred is somebody can hate you to the extent of planning to end your life have you heard of assassins People that are hired to go and kill for money. That is the highest point of hatred, disgust, dislike. The highest passionate, powerful dislike of an individual. So when you come to the part of the world that we live in, in Ghana, for example, when somebody hates you, they can go to all extent, traditional level, to go and see the fetish priest to end your life. That is how powerful this thing called hate is all about. Hate is dangerous. Now, one of the legends in Ghana sang a song, a very beautiful one. That is called Otaihunu Araqua. Somebody hates you just for hating your sake. Maybe for something that you've got, for something that you, you, you've achieved, for even your natural looks. And that is the most dangerous thing that is destroying the very fabric of our society. Racism is part of hate. Apathy is part of hate. But you know something? 
the most dangerous thing about hate is it hurts the person himself or herself. Because if you hate somebody, you tend you tend to think bad or you, you tend to have some bad ideas about something. Something bad should happen to that person. Something bad should happen to that person. And that, of course, it has a reflex impact on your life. If you are angry, your heart expands, right? Enlarges for 72 hours and is dangerous for your health. So it's two H, hate and hate. If you hate somebody, you are hating yourself because the more you get annoyed, the more you get angry about that person, the more you're hating yourself physically. Your health and your mental health is what? Is deteriorating. Because that brings you diseases. And the area a bro, ooh, ooh, we see you bust out what time you pano. And the area bro, because the more I will drink, you pano, wow, who perceive be general, the more na you are opening yourself for physical illness. And you're about to do because so why do you move and you're fine? That's a wolf for 24 hours. Ubet me, Ayari, because your chemistry alters there's an alteration of your chemistry that's going to affect your mental health and then your systems your organs your heart your liver and your kidneys and let me tell you one thing when it comes to hey the only negative thing is about what i'm talking about you are hating yourself so there's this there's a vast difference between hate and love because when it comes to love it is easy to hate because when it comes to hate there are no responsibilities. You just hate the person and you want to kill the person or you want to do something, poison the person or you want the person's job to lose their job. You want the person to lose their, their parents or their husbands or their wives or their kids or you want something bad, accident or anything like that to happen to that person. You want that person to be financially broke. So, you know, you've got no responsibilities just like that. But when it comes to love, there are some responsibilities that goes with love because it's a package. To love is to be responsible, to be committed, to be devoted, to have that sense of caring for that person. So it's different between hate and love because with love, it comes with so much responsibility and a, and a package. But hate is easy to hate. That is why it's, the people are hating all over the place. They are suicide bombers. Somebody can strap themselves with bombs and go inside a public place and blast himself, including everybody else. That is called hate. Hate crimes. That's why these days hate crimes is risen. It's, 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 it's on the peak, right? It has so much, you know, um, power and hold over every individual. You know, what I want to tell you is that every individual has got that element in them. But when it explodes to that higher level, it becomes witchcraft. As I said in my first video of um, jealousy and, 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 and envy. So to me, at time we near to the stand, say, because you are filled with some kind of demonic entities that will push you to do the uh, supernatural, or that will push you to do the very things that is unthinkable. So it's easy to hate because when you hate, you do things as 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 you don't care. It hasn't got any any. It's, it's carelessness. You don't you don't give a a, a, a a damn to what happens to the next person. So please, the shooting all over the place in America and other places, the knife attacks on each other. You know, black people are killing each other on the streets. Because we hate each other. That is called the melanin effect. That black chem chemical in us is really destroying us. It, 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 it explodes that, that molecules of hate in us. And it, it, it pushes us. It, 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 it acts as a magnetic force that pushes us to act unnecessarily. It's like we are blind. You can't even see. And that is dangerous, please. This is destroying, as I said earlier on, the very fabric of society. Now the global community is full of hate. And we don't know. 
People are talking about end times and all that. I don't believe in that. Everybody has got that fabric in them. But you have to control it. It's up to us to control the effects of hate. Because racism is hate. That has been what? Translated into action. And doing so, you are hurting the very person that you are acting towards. And that person is going to pick it up and also start hating. So it's like a ripple effect. It goes like that. Like a chain. Like a vicious circle. And it runs through like a strand. Through the society. Through the globe. Because we are in a global society. And once technology and the state of art, artificial intelligence is amongst us, we can even see the effect. Because if anything happens anywhere in the world, within a second, it's all over the place. Within a, a trinkle of a night, it's all over the place. So hate, please, can you sit down and have a minute? Start thinking about what I'm talking about. And you, you begin to analyze it. And then you begin to realize that no, hate is in everyone. But everyone also controls it and have some kind of um, management skills over it. So that it doesn't get to that level that will destroy society. But it's happening. Hate crime, racism, apathy was, was, was by then. But it's still the blacks are even killing each other. And the very worst of it that even worsen everything is the xenophobic attacks. Blacks against blacks. South Africans killing Nigerians. Hatred. What are we gaining out of hatred? Brothers and sisters, are you listening to me? Hatred. Friends, you know, group of friends. Even it happens in friends. Friend, a friend hating a friend. But you wouldn't even realize that you are working with your, 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 your enemy. Political hatred. Among the parliamentary members, they are hating on each other. Where we come from, they will take you to somewhere to destroy you, to bring you down, bring you down, bring you down syndrome. That's, that's the hate. The hate is destroying lives. It's destroying lives. It's killing people. Mortality rate, when it comes to hate, is rising all the time. It's rising all the time. When are we going to minimize hate in our system so that our world will become a better place? When are we going to be doing that? We all need to come to the realization that no, we need to manage our hate because everybody has a little bit of it. When somebody hates you, you don't hate that person back. You rather manage yours so that that person that is hating on you will even think again that that person is going to even realize that no, what I'm doing is wrong. But it's out of control these days because hate is easy to hate. It's not like loving. Loving is at least got some responsibilities, devotion and commitment to it. So it's, it's difficult to love one another. But even we've got that DNA in us. We've got that DNA in us. So we need to love each other. We need to grow that rather than growing the hate. Because it looks as if globally, the hate has been growing more and higher than love brothers and sisters please let's think about this Makramo, let's think about this hate hate please let's manage it let's manage it in families at workplaces in families at workplaces in families at workplaces i'm going to mention it again in families at workplaces among friends relationships relationships let us manage our hate I'm not going to talk to you, man, but please think about this. Thank you.